At the Semicon Conference in San Francisco, hundreds of companies tout how their innovations can help boost production of one of the most important technologies in the world, semiconductors. And at the show, you'll find all the latest equipment that's helping to support the industry, like this digital microscope from Kientz, which can examine components in extreme detail. And over here, they even have a laser microscope that can take a look at the surface of the chip. That's what it looks like. At this pavilion, technologists and health professionals are discussing how semiconductors can take on a form factor that eliminates cumbersome wires. So I believe that the future of healthcare involves the engineering of soft, flexible devices that recapitulate the same gr ICU grade vitals in a remote and accurate manner for clinical decision making purposes. ST Microelectronics and DuPont are working on a potential solution. They've created a cardiac patch that's waterproof and wearable for up to two weeks. That would allow a doctor to monitor patients remotely for extended periods of time. So you have smartwatches that monitor your heart rate and monitor other aspects of breathing and things like that. And they're, they're sort of the simplest, most easy parts to start with. And we're trying to extend that and create almost body area networks where you might have sensors all over your body monitoring different parts of you that it's unobtrusive and continuous. Ren Ruby Yen directs the health tech unit of Global Foundries, a designer and manufacturer of semiconductors. She believes in the future that medical monitoring devices will move toward being contactless. The majority of the medical device so far are contact. Even the optical sensors in medical device, they contact your skin to making sure the information they're collecting are more accurate. However, if we want to enable it for even the majority of the populations, people need to be easy to use. That is one of the key factors. It has to be affordable, easy to use, and easy to access. The solution she's proposing and working on is radar. We're getting closer and closer. For example, the vital size monitor for radars is already being used in automotive. It's one of the child present detection methods. The reason they can detect it's a child or adult, it's a human or a dog, is by receiving the vital sign information through radar. So this method is being validated in some other market, and the same functionalities can be used for the medical market too. While ideas like this still have a ways to go, that's what Semicon is all about. Learning about the needs of a specific industry and collaborating on new systems to beat those demands. Mark New, CGTN, San Francisco.